peppers. We are in for a treat today here. Chef Kush is going to take us from the very basics right up to Michelin star level seasoning. We're going to go through three different dishes at three different levels, and we're basically going to take all the value out of your brain so that us normals can improve our cooking at home. Shall we start with our basic dish? Well, our basic dish and our intermediate dish are the same plate of food. But with two different levels of seasoning. Yeah, so we're going to take the same ingredients, cook them in the same pans on the same hob with the same pasta, and we're going to apply seasoning at different times and in different areas, but without changing the dish. Great, let's do it. So, cooking some spaghetti in a large frying pan, as little amount of water as possible to cover your pasta. Okay. To get as much starchiness into it as possible. It's not seasoning, but it's good technique. You don't need six liters of water to boil four portions of pasta. Gotcha, already learning. How much salt? I've always gone under the assumption that the water should taste like seawater. Is that too much? Well, if you want to use the pasta water in the final dish, no, you can't season it too no. heavily. Yeah, absolutely. So it's just a delicate seasoning. And then we're going to use the pasta water to make a little emulsion in this. So if you're going to use the pasta water, season it. How much are we saying? I'm going to put about a tablespoon in. That's all you need. Okay. And then I'm going to put that to the back, let it boil, and I'm going to get it with our sauce. Great. So two identical pans, same amount of olive oil to start off with. They're on a medium heat and a good amount of olive oil. We're, going to, we're cooking olive oil now for flavour. We're not going to try to you know, fry anything and get it really crispy, uh, crispy. So you are going to eat all of this. We're not going to use vegetable oil. Okay, right. gotcha. So you want the flavour. Yeah. We're going thinly sliced shallot, equal amounts in both pans. You can just hear the sizzle. So the basic one, we're not going to put any seasoning in. Okay. We're going to plate it up once it's finished. The only seasoning will be a bit of pasta water. And then at the table, you can add some salt and pepper. Okay, great. The intermediate, I'm going to start straight away with some fine salt now. Okay, into the shallots. Into the shallots with olive oil. Why? So the salt will help to soften and break down the cell walls of the shallot, which will allow the moisture to come out, which will help to cook the shallots quicker, more evenly, and will also help develop the flavour. We call it sweating. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's going to release the moisture out of it, and in theory, it will stop the shallot burning in the pan. Sort of moderate the temperature. Gotcha. The water coming out. Okay. I'd say that learning to season correctly has been, has had the single biggest impact on the taste and quality of my cooking. Okay. Um, and I guess I've come from the school of thought around the seasoning triangle, which is salt, acid, and sweetness or sugar. And then using those to elevate the flavors of a dish in balance. But how do you think about it? Because I know that it's slightly different. So I take seasoning at its most basic form as salt. Yes. And then the step past salt is more of a octagon dodecahedron. Okay, so yeah, we're talking to someone with Michelin star experience here. So we've got uh, salt. We've got the warmth of pepper, which is a spice. Some people, Slater, say it's not a seasoning. We used to have vehement arguments over this, but I think it is. Okay. Acid, however the form, is a seasoning, but so is bitter. Why, it's getting, why, why really getting confusing? Bitter? We're doing the best basics. I don't. I'm yeah. out of my depth. Yeah. So I think seasoning is more than just the three, and you can go as far as you want. They'll all help to build depth and nuance into your dish. But it's about when you use them and how you use them. <laughs> see, that's what we're here for. So straight away, we can see that the shallots have already changed quite dramatically. Yet the intermediates have crisped up. Unseasoned, plump. Intermediate, crisp right up, reduced right down, so you can see all that water's come out of them, and they're a better colour. Yeah, they browned better. Do you want to taste them now? I think you should. Oh, be okay. Hot. Wow, this yeah. is really. Isn't it a treat? Cooked onion. I mean, that tastes nice. All right. A lot sweeter. Mm -hmm. A lot sweeter. Mm -hmm. Crispier, almost toasted as well because of the colour. So the moisture's come out of the shallots and been driven off by the heat of the pan. Wow, that's a big difference. That's allowed the temperature to go up, just cook the shallot quicker, and has allowed the sugars to start to caramelize. So we say sweat, yep. but I know a very famous French chef who says sweeten. Okay. Just sweeten vegetables, because you are doing that, you're building the natural sugars in the vegetables. All right, so back into the pans, 
and now we start to build layers of flavour. Okay. So I won't be adding any acid or extra fat to the basic dish. It's already okay. got olive oil in. Yep. It's got the sweetness of the natural vegetables. Yep. We'll see how it tastes. Great. To the intermediate, I'm going to add a little bit of butter, which is the second fat. So we've got dairy fat and olive oil. I'm going to grind some pepper straight into that and toast it in the fat. Yep. And then we'll see if it needs a bit of acid. Okay. Because with the added fat, wind up some acid. So all spices need to be cooked in a fat. The volatile compounds and the flavour molecules are released and absorbed into the fat in which the dish. Which then coat the which dish. Which coat the dish and Extra carry food. the flavour. We're going to go vegetables into both. And we're just going to stir and let them cook in the heat of the pan, not adding any extra moisture. The salt is breaking down the cell walls with shallots and releasing the moisture. It's also acting upon the green vegetables. Okay. So it's going to help them cook quicker by releasing the moisture. So they'll steam a bit quicker and better. And it'll also help keep the colour. So instantly, we have a difference in the sheen. So you've got more of a lovely, even glaze and a shine over the green vegetables here because they've got the, got the butter, butter in. Yeah. We know that the spice carries through butter, but also the fat in the butter is going to coat your palate and take the flavour all the way around your palate. That's why fat in moderation is your friend, especially if it's something so healthy as just shredded vegetables and pasta. So a little cheek of lemon, and we bring over our massive pan of spaghetti. Let a bit of the pasta water drip in. Now, before actually plating, yeah. That's when I would add a bit of salt. Okay. And I'd probably add a squeeze of lemon. Um, Just if this were me. Out of, out of being part of the triangle. Yeah. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Taste, 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 taste. You can always add, but you can never take away. Yep. So now is the time to taste. And what are you looking for? Uh, with this, I wanna be able to taste all the vegetables, taste the pasta, a bit of butter, and that's about it. No, I don't wanna taste salt. No. I don't wanna taste too much pepper. It just needs to be in balance. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> of course it Whoops. is. <laughs> uh, so you don't need to add anything? I don't need to add anything to it because I put the salt in at the beginning. I judge the salt, as I do as a chef, on kind of the end result. Yeah. I'll taste it as well. Yeah, let's try. And we'll do the, we'll do the hand. I'll, I'll tip out how much salt I think and you tip out how much salt you think. Okay, deal. Yeah? Cheers. Cheers. Okay, ready? Yeah. I would use this much. Oh, I'd use too much. Yep, a little bit more. Give it a stir. And at the end of the day, if you're not that confident, serve it, put salt and pepper on the table. There's nothing wrong with salt and pepper on the table. Okay. A lot of restaurants don't have it. None. Because the chef knows best. <laughs> but when you're at home, give the option to whoever's dining. Gotcha. Yeah. So I'm gonna add a touch of lemon. Why? So what? we've got the butter, so we've got double fat. To balance out the fat, add a bit of acidity. Okay. But this does not have any butter in it. No. It's just got a touch of olive oil, so it doesn't really need the acidity. Okay. So you're looking at seasoning as adding some cut through to anything that is overly fatty. Yes. Basic. I'd say intermediate, simple spring veg pasta. Basic. Intermediate. Let's taste it. Cheers. Cheers. It's, it's fine. For me, it's baby food. Kids oh. food. Nothing wrong with it, mm. but it's pasta, vegetables, and salt. There's, n there's no... Nuance. Nuance. I know, I know... I, I know the word. Yeah. Yeah. And that makes me want to eat this straight away while I can still remember what that tasted like. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, you've got everything. The volume levels have been turned up on everything, but then you've added sensations into it. Mm -hmm. So the butter makes it all taste silky. The pepper doesn't taste of pepper, it's just warmth. And it's, a, it's an additional, it's all those extra dimensions that, like you said there, the, the shallots make a massive difference. Whereas I couldn't really taste the shallots in that, the sweetness is, is actually really loud and clear in this as well. So the shallots, I think, really come through. And we hear the word base banded about a lot when cooking. Mm. You need to base. You need to base of onions, vegetables, mirepoix, sofrito, garlic. garlic. Yep. And I think this shows if you're cooking it in fat with no salt, you're not developing those flavours early on. So you're wasting your time and money 
peeling, prepping, chopping, cooking, because you're not getting the best out of it. So if I'm creating a base out of anything by frying it in olive oil, whether that be peppers, onions, garlic, sofrito, season at that stage. A little bit at the beginning. Right. Always. Unless you're making a stock. Which will be salty. Yes. Shall we move on to our high-end seasoning dish? Should we cook some meat? Let's cook some meat. Cook some meat. Can't wait for this one. What's the plan? So, uh, I've, I've created, an, uh, I think it's a new dish. It's <laughs> duck with orange. Oh. Never been done before, is it? Not, not in the English language, no, no. No, duck and orange. Duck and orange, so okay. We're gonna pan roast some duck breasts and serve it with a normal orange sauce mm -hmm. and then a elevated orange sauce. So we've got a control. The control. A comparison yeah. and then chefiness on this one. Yes. Ingredient-wise, we've uh, the control. Some very good chicken stock, some port, red wine, and orange juice. Okay. In addition to that, we're gonna add some shallot cooked with butter and salt Learning. for depth, a bit of thyme, yeah. and just a wee bit of star anise. Okay. So the star anise works with the slightly caramelized shallots to bring out a really meaty flavor. In a separate pan, we're gonna make a gastrique. It's a gastrique is a reduction of sugar and vinegar. Yeah. So you, you're getting sweetness and acidity, but you're mellowing it all out. Instead of vinegar, we're using fresh orange juice. Okay because that's more acidic than cars and stuff. Yeah. Instead of sugar, we're using honey. Yeah. Because it has an extra layer of flavor. We're going to add some orange zest to it as well. Bitter. Bitter. There so we're going bitter, sweet, sharp, all into this to build on the notes. We're also going to finish the sauce with some butter. Okay. Because it's fat. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm going to put some oil in the pan. I don't do duck in a dry pan. You don't? Nah. Oh. Fat renders fat. Okay. So I start with a bit of oil to get the fat rendering, especially on these standard supermarket thin duck breasts that don't have that much fat. You want to get a colour before it dries out. Okay. Going to go some salt in the pan. So duck in. I'm going to move that to the back. Cool. So it doesn't get in the way. Yeah. Always season your proteins. Yep. It's for uh, flavour. It also does help in a small amount, uh, help denature the proteins, which helps the Maillard reaction, but we're just doing this for seasoning and flavour at the moment. Fine. Okay. So we've got two really hot pans on. We're going to start by boiling and reducing our alcohols to drive off a little bit of the bitterness, drive off and mellow some of the tannins and concentrate that flavour. So we're going to go port and wine into both pans. So adding port for sweetness yep. and wine for acidity. Okay. okay. We're going to make the gastric, but we're going to do that in one pan with the shallot, star anise, thyme, caramelise the shallots off. Hit it with the honey, almost caramelise the honey, get some bitter flavours out. Go in with the lovely orange peel and then some fresh juice to lift it back up. So after cooking it all down, we want to bring that vibrancy back with some fresh juice. Show you some duck. Getting a bit of colour. Yep. And it's starting to crisp up. That needs another couple of minutes. I'll flip it over and bang it in the oven. So our wine mixture, so you can start, see it's reduced down, it's starting to coat the bottom of the pan. So at this stage, you've driven off all the flavours that you don't want. Any harshness from the alcohol, some of the acidity, some of the bitterness, and you've concentrated all those great flavours down. Into this, we're now going to add the rest of the ingredients, the orange juice and the stock, and let that simmer and take over. Okay. The more you reduce, the more intense the flavour. Yes. So if you've made the mistake of seasoning at this point, you're only actually going to reduce the flavours down and intense the salty flavour. You're going to increase the flavour through yep. reduction. Okay. Really lovely caramelised shallots. You can see pepper throughout. It's absorbed all of the butter, hasn't it? Yep. Nice so, and silky. Nice and silky. You used uh, thyme. I used thyme, so yep. a hard herb. Hard herb, going at the beginning. Okay. You uh, can smell it. Thyme and orange are fantastic bedfellows. They go really well with duck as well, because it's a lovely earthy flavour that accents and balances out the citrus notes from okay. the orange. Nice. So, back over a heat, we're gonna go in with a good squeeze of honey and we're gonna almost burn it. A bit like doing a caramel. Then we're gonna stop the cooking with a bit of butter and some fresh juice. Okay. Oh my goodness, you put that on toast. Oh, well, now you mentioned toast. A great hack. Rather than making that from scratch, 
So we'll pack some marmalade in the pan with a bit of vinegar. Okay. You've got the sugar, bit the orange, on. and then peel, juice, and everything. sugar, er everything in there, and then you just hit a bit of vinegar. There we go. That's what we're here for, people. Let me taste it first. I'm a daddy now, so I'll taste it, and then I don't want you to burn yourself. Oh, thanks. Mmm. Oh wow. That, do you know you're? I can't get the comment out of my head about the marmalade now. Mm. Again, the toasted pepper in the butter is the game changer for me. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Because I don't do that. Mm. Can we talk damage limitations? If I've produced a dish and got near to the end and it's too salty, Ooh. is there a way of balancing it? Or is it just eat your salty food and learn your lessons? So some say that you can put a raw peeled potato in <sighs> The sauce, I'm not going to do that. And it will absorb the salt due to osmosis. You need to bulk it out to reduce the salt content. So add, add more liquid. But by adding more liquid, you're going to reduce the flavour and uh, you're going to loosen the, the texture, the consistency. Right, Michael, we have our two identical pans of the same liquids. Yep. No seasoning in either of them. Nope. I want you to season the normal one. Okay. As a normal. I'm going to go for a, a pinch first. Pinch first, okay. So you're gonna add salt, taste, add salt, taste. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't think it needs any more salt. Okay. I've tasted mine. I'm not gonna add any more salt. I'm gonna add some gastric to it. We okay. know what that tastes like. We know what that tastes like. Yeah. I'm gonna go bold. Okay. I'm gonna whack in most of the gastric, which is gonna bring us the octagon of flavor. I'm gonna whisk in a tiny bit of butter and then I know that that will taste very reduced and jammy, bitter, sweet, herby but ace up my sleeve, I'm going to finish it with a tiny bit of just fresh, very zingy orange to bring all those flavours back out. Okay. So otherwise it's very reduced and cooked. Yeah. You happy there? I, I'm as happy as I I'm can I'm not judging. Be. No, 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 no. Wow. For me, a bit salty. Yeah. Damn. But it will season the duck breast. Y yeah, that's what we're looking yeah, for. Yeah, we'll look for that. Do you want to taste mine? Yes, please. Taste ours, sorry, we've done this together. Yeah, we Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> it just tastes up here. Good. That's what we're aiming for. Let's try it with some duck. Remember, this has been seasoned in the pan. Yeah. So it's got its salt on its skin. A little bit of salt on the flesh. Right, I'm just going to do one blob over the top. Yours seems to have thickened up more than mine as well. That, it's that, yeah. Because yeah, that's... that is so thick, it's absorbed the excess moisture and thickened it up. Yeah, look at it. Well, there's a there's a big difference. Good home cooking. Cheers. Yeah. yeah. It tastes like good home cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. It, it definitely works. It's, so, it's lovely. You think duck and orange will take off? Uh, I think it might do. It might do. I right. think it might do. Right. So, same duck breast, but the same packet, same sauce, but finished with the gastric gas and the butter at the end. It's, it's worlds apart. You need it tasting that intense to cut through the, the flavour of the duck. Mm -hmm. You need it to stand out. That probably would need more sauce okay. to be able to get enough flavour. That, it looks like you've actually even used less, but the fact is it's thickened up, it's reduced, but it's intensified in the flavour. Well, that is what you would expect in a restaurant. Yep. And that's what you'd expect a good home cook to do. Yeah. So I think with seasoning, you can go really simple with salt and fantastic seasoning ingredients, fine. But from the pasta, we've seen that the addition of the salt at the right time with the shallots brings out the sweetness, more depth of flavour, and elevates those hyper simple ingredients. This dish, by contrast, has a lot more time and involvement in it, but for a date night, for a dinner party, for a weekend cook, all it is is one extra pan, and you're adding nuance, different levels, more depth, and a bit more je ne sais quoi, yes. British duck with orange. <laughs>
Well, I certainly found that enlightening. How did you guys get on? Let us know in the comments and also any other suggestions for any other elements of cooking that you would love. Uh, a masterclass from this man here. Let us know.